Let's be real here, gang. Job interviews suck. And when I say suck, for those of you watching this right now, how many of you have had to go to a formal setting, an office you've never been to, someone you've never met, and sit down in front of them for them to ask you all these relevant questions around why you are the best fit for their company? I bet you have felt stressed, overwhelmed, anxious, excited. Well, I'm here to say I experienced that yesterday. First time in my career, nine years. Today, I wanted to get on and talk a little bit about how I aced that job, that plumbing job interview and how you guys can do it in your next one. Welcome back to the Trading Talks podcast. I'm your host, Doss. Thank you so much for, for tuning in. If you have got takeaways from this beautiful channel, please hit subscribe. Obviously, again, any construction tips that I put up around apprenticeships, interviews, plumbing, anything like that, this is your one-stop shop to come to. So please hit subscribe. As I said, today I'm gonna to be talking a little bit about how to ace your plumbing job interview. Um, and basically the first one that I wanna get into is confidence is key, guys. How you start your day is how it will typically unfold. When you wake up for that job interview, how are you rolling out of bed? Are you jumping out with excitement, overwhelm, anxiety? How did you pre prepare yourself the night before? Building your confidence for that day is going to be super, super beneficial. And that is exactly what I did yesterday. I got up out of bed, said to myself, I'm going to be confident today whether or not I feel like it. Now, again, I'm not sitting here saying that self-doubt and stuff isn't going to come in, which it did. But yesterday I said to myself, confidence is key. Confidence is key. And I just kept saying it to me, uh, to myself. For those of you watching this right now, I want to throw it out to you. Do you feel confident in this current moment right now watching this video? My question for you is if it's a no, how can you be better? How can you start to build on that confidence? Because when you start to gain the confidence in your work life, your family life, your relationships, all this jazz, you'll see it start to trickle out. You'll see it start to build. And this is the thing with the channel. I will be putting up a lot more tips and tools around how to build on this confidence because I know it's something that a lot of you struggle with and I still fucking struggle with it. So again, guys, Yesterday was a big eye-opening experience for me, and I wanted to get on here and give you guys a bit of a three-part process of what worked for me and how you guys can implement it. So as I said, the first one is confidence is key. Write it down, imprint it in your mind, whatever you need to do with it, but remembering that confidence is key. The second one that I had here, guys, was mentally rehearsing that you already have the job. It's your job. You applied for it. You're the only one going for it. Now, again, you could say, well, that's delusional, but it's not. You need to put yourself in that mindset. You've already got the job. Say it to yourself right now, you have already got the job. Because if you can go into that moment and mentally rehearse that process of, well, I've already got it, I'm gonna answer everything truthfully, it's gonna help you a lot in the process. And it helped me fucking shit load yesterday. So, by mentally rehearsing in your mind that you've already got the job, what's to say you don't already have it? So again, guys, these are the first couple of tips uh, that I had around the job interview yesterday. There will be a couple of other part processes coming out. If you have taken, away, taken value away from this, please hit subscribe. Again, any tips, tools um, around construction, apprenticeships, stuff like that, this is your one-stop shop. Please tune into the next part, which will be out in the next couple of days. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this helps.